so, so much far. further. Yeah, I think it's gonna like this match is going to be determined on ledge traffic. Like, yeah. But the thing is, Wolf has that reflector to mix up and to help deal with a lot of the Gordo setups that Kimchi is gonna be going for. So Roos just needs to be smart, smart with that reflector, not get you, like red really hard trying to do it, but to be able to react to when Kimchi is throwing out the Gordo in his uh, ledge trap situations. Although he's got a ledge trap situation of his own right now. And Wolf is one of the best in the game at keeping you at ledge. He's got so many good buttons. Kimchi has been going for these neutral bees near the ledge. Um, and they ha just haven't really been working out for him. Uh, hey, how do you get uh, this? Uh, how do you get off the ledge against know. Wolf? It's so hard. He's able to find his way with just a neutral getup and a and roll. How do you get off the ledge against DDD? But he is going to drop the ledge trap, and now the positions are just reversed. Yep. This whole match has just been at ledge. They're just switching places. I can't believe that didn't kill. I mean, Buffalo the, the one, the one saving grace of DDD is being so heavy that. Just yeah. The Wolf's just killing issues we were talking about in the last set are definitely going to be. What, we've watched two games in a row where a Wolf is playing as a heavy. Um, yeah. Yeah, trying yeah, to use the neutral to reflect like the yeah. Gordo, but I mean, Roos just finding his way through. The thing is, Wolf doesn't even have to. Oh, that was an injured thing. I wonder if he was trying to fade back towards the ledge there. Maybe. It might have been like a mix up to try and get Roos to like try and run away from it, like out yeah. of fear, but and he just, just, he just waited. For yourself. Dash stack. That's a good, that's an option. Sure, it took you till 200%. But, but you, you got you it. Found the you stock. got the stock. And you've, you've still got, got yours. lead here. And this is where Roos can really force Kimchi to be the one who approaches. Yes. And then you have to approach through all of Wolf's good buttons. And there's so many things that Wolf can do to just make Gordo not a problem in this matchup. I mean, you've got laser, reflector. You can stuff it out with a fair. And you can oh, die oh, to a dash oh. attack. And now we're back in an okay. even game. Yeah, that dash attack strongest, is only is only it's game? only good at one thing, but it's really good at that one thing, which is catching those two frames or high recovery attempts. People get destroyed by that move. You accidentally neutral get up, and DDD just makes you pay for it. Yep. It, it's so good at catching like panic options. I feel like. Yeah. If you, I mean, if you, yeah, you get. You don't want to get stuck at ledge against DDD. He's gonna throw a Gordo at you. He's gonna have tilt you and. Oh, Kim, um, Ruse air dodge right in front of Kimchi's face, and Kimchi just wasn't able to get anything out of it. That F smash did, didn't even come close yeah. to killing Kimchi, but that back air is going to yes. close it out. I mean, that, like, you get to a high enough percent, Wolf can just start backing, and like you're not going to make him stop. And he again, can also do this to you. I mean, like that F smash probably would have killed if it was at the ledge, but again, so many of Wolf's kill options are positioning dependent, and that back air right at the ledge is such a good one. I hope when we get like a, a DDD get out later. That would be fun. Will versus Kimchi. I want to watch just like some big fat penguins throw Gordo's around. That, he just tried to F smash him. He tried to claim his you soul. Went. I mean, you're down by this much. You got to go for some crazy stuff. But they're finding the Speaking back air. Speaking of characters with good back airs, the DDD's back air is nothing to laugh the, at. The one issue with it is that it only covers like directly behind him. So as you saw, uh, Roos just went like a little bit over the back air, and that was enough to avoid it. And that's the second time since we've been on commentary that we've seen people trying to like air dodge up. I wonder if they like grease the ledges on the Xanadu setups. You can't actually, you can't actually grab them as easy. Air dodging is very finicky. I mean, sometimes you just you think you're good and you did it just a little bit too late, and, and then you, you have die. to look and you just look sad. Uh huh. You get like a little cutscene of your character falling. So this looks like an 130 percent lead, but. We've seen Wolf not be able to kill people to 212, yes. and, and DDD does DDD. not have those same problems. He can oh, kill he you. He was trying to catch a landing with that dash attack. It was very hard read. Oh, he just stayed and got dash attacked and died. Uh, he was looking for like the, the no option mix uh. up, you know, because you don't want to roll too early, get hit by a dash yes. attack, or roll in and roll into an up smash. But and I understand. Just called that. him out on it and I, just said, "I'll yeah. just dash attack you." I, I understand that because you know Wolf has the speed and the frame data. And just the options to tech chase really well, so sometimes you just you don't want to give him anything, but you gotta give him something. Or like you, you have to pick a get up option eventually. Yeah, I mean there's no there's no way you can just that Ruse is gonna let him get away with just staying there yeah. for the next foreseeable future. Mm -hmm. And so eventually you run out of that your 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 tech frames, you run out of your iframes for Right, yeah. Yeah. For hitting the ground and then you eat a wolf dash attack, and we go on to game two. Yep. Kimchi choosing to just run it back straight to stadium. Was, yeah, he, was, he, his, was he flipping his character model around during been. the reflector? It seems like a little, bit of, a little bit of a statement to just drop down and hold that reflector there. It's like, 
you're just really saying to the opponent, like, I know you want to shoot your projectiles, yeah. so don't. Ruse has definitely played against the DDD on Wi-Fi. He's scarred because of it. Look at him back airing the Gordo. Yeah. The way that, the angle that sends out, that was crazy. Yeah. yeah. Like I said, there's so many ways that Wolf can just make Gordo a non-factor. Like, we haven't seen Kimchi really exert any pressure with Gordo. Yeah. Like, these Gordos are getting reflected. They're getting hit away. They're getting lasered, and... There's a zero to death. Wow. You got stuck. You got put at ledge one time by Wolf, and you died. Mm -hmm. And I, that's he what... He still hasn't been hit. Yeah. JV4. I mean, he's got this advantage state going. Oh, there we it's go. Over. Finally right. got hit. <laughs> Let's go, Kim Chi. That would have been wild because the, the first game was last stock. A JV4 would have been absurd. That's a, yeah, that's the thing. You get these these games and between he usually I find they have heavies in them where one person's winning like 70-80% of the neutral exchanges and the game still comes to last hit last stock because the heavies in this game they force they're like execution checks they force you to play the matchup and play your character so well otherwise you get down oh, the the Gordo actually saves definitely Ruse from yeah. getting hammered jet how do you get this big body of DDD away from Wolf back air? And that's a, a problem that Kimchi hasn't found the answer out to yet. He's, he's been contesting it pretty well right there with the jump right air dodge. Jump he's air been dodge, doing jump yeah. forward air a lot off ledge to try, and it's been yeah. successful. I mean, DDD, DDD forward air is fast. It's yes. definitely going to be... Oh, wow. Jeez. Ruse looked him in the eyes, took a step back, and then try to kill him with side B. That forward tilt's gonna close and it with, out. With most characters with that side B, you have to read a jump, or you have yeah. to get them on a platform. But TDD, DDD, he was just so standing big. there and he still got hit. DDD is so large. Yeah. Oh, Here we go. Going oh, for those oh, neutral that's middle it. edge. I don't know why that wasn't true. Might have just been an execution club. Bruce is just moving so much quicker. Like he, he's uh -huh. making just he's making so much more of his advantage states, and he's honestly getting more advantage states too. I Kimchi is gonna need to kill him with the neutral beat. Uh, he's running out of options here very quickly. Like one more solid hit from Bruce is gonna be enough to close this out. You, you can't get hit by anything right now if you're Kimchi. You can hit by Wolf Grab. Yeah, That's Wolf Grab facing the ledge. And then he gets the fine. wrong hitbox in there. Buff Wolf. This character's bad. Here's a chance. Jabbed on a platform, hold 30. Yeah. Again, just, he hasn't been, the biggest tool, you think of, well, you think of Wolf and his biggest tool is back here, and yeah. that's going to close that out. <laughs> but you think of DDD, and you think of the Gordon, and all the pressure and space it can take up, and it just never got to do that during that set. Yep. Ruse shut that down from minute one of set, from game one. Yeah. Like, Wolf, he did not, not give... Not only does Wolf have so many tools to deal with that, I mean, Ruse was just clearly always thinking about the Gordo, always thinking about when it could come out, where he had to be to avoid it, how he had to hit it back. Yeah. Yeah. He, he was so really good. so present. Like he's played he's definitely played that. I'm sure he's he played knows that what he's doing. He was prepared. I, I don't know. He, he just completely controlled the flow of the game and then took his advantage states further.